Here to Robin. It's right, it's right above us right now. So this sort of a sad, melancholic song. It almost sounds like it's a telling a story. Now, it's almost as if it's talking and sharing its, you know, <laughs> sharing its life with you. It's like, uh, well, today is a pretty nice morning. We have, huh, here, we have a sun. It's not cold. quite warm actually and the spring is coming soon and that's how it kind of sounds you know so that was a robin and very very beautiful bird and I love the song too not as much as I love blackbird song but it's a good boy it's a very very nice song and the bird and whenever I see it it's such a such a elegant beautiful bird really and 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 so cute too it's got large eyes uh which there's a reason for it actually because it's it 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 moves and uh, forages and 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 lives very often in an undergrowth and it's also quite active as i told you in one of the previous videos it's quite active uh, very early and very late in the day where the light conditions are not quite favorable so i think those eyes they're kind of an adaptation to that so she does have very large dark eyes that of course i mean if you look at all the illustrations of 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 animals and of, of puppies and all that uh well the puppies do have that you know you can see their uh whites and all that so that's quite a different but when you see when you see illustrations or I know plushies of, of like small animals they always have these large eyes right I mean that's the sort of quality to it the, the cuteness quality that that people uh, sort of incorporate into those designs and <laughs> I love how Drake just you know he was like sniffing and he was just like casually you know what if I would poop here a little bit oh, let's just, just, just have a little poop you know he already pooped by the way but it's like I was I was watching him and he was like Oh, that's an interesting smell here and he was kind of slouched you know over and bent over and he was like you know what what if i why, why not like let out a, a poop or two you know <laughs> he just started pooping <laughs> i love that you know sort of an impromptu impromptu pooping all of a sudden <laughs> might as well you know um <laughs> um but yeah it's 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 that sort of a cuteness quality that people put into we're not going to sniff the deer. Come on, man. Draco, we're fucked. We're Got to be a little more hard this time, huh? Because <laughs> apparently just to ask nicely didn't work. Good boy. No. Tak. Wow, look at those. Draco, ne, tady jdeme. Here, that's where we go. Draco, tady jdeme. Yeah, he wants to go there. I mean, come on, man. I mean, I get it. It's interesting and all that, but I mean, we've been there a couple times already, and there's nothing new in there. Anyway, so. So, um, yeah, there, it's, it's, it's that cuteness sort of uh, quality that, uh, you know, we often incorporate into various designs and illustrations. And it actually, it does really work. I mean, if you see a robin, uh, focus on its eyes and look uh, and see how, it's, how, how it makes the bird really cute. 
and Robin is like, you know, very plumpy, uh, sort of roundish bird, and it has this um, orange, brightly colored breast, and with those large, beady, shiny black eyes. It's 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 an extremely cute bird. Of course, not as cute as <laughs> as a as a gold crest for instance which is extremely tiny and it's just it's it's the cutest thing you'll ever see i mean if you see a gold crest from up close it's it's uh, it's completely uh it's the cutest thing really <laughs> um i mean check check gold crest pictures on google and there are some gold crests that have been oh oh dear there's been some, uh, there are some pictures of uh, gold crests captured for, for, for ringing and they, they are in the hands of those ornithologists and it's just extremely cute, like little fluffy ball, balls of feathers and so tiny, it's incredible. But yeah, that was a little bit about cuteness of birds. And I think generally uh, um, birds are, are, are very cute. Um, uh, the the songbirds, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think some people don't really consider, for instance, a turkey a cute bird, <laughs> more like an ugly bird. Um, and some people are terrified of, for instance, chickens because they look very sort of angry when you look at their face. And some birds do have that sort of angry quality to their face because they they you know have this sort of like uh, stern look to them and those like hard eyes that you know but that's the thing it's just we don't really we don't really have the capacity to read their emotions because they're completely different species yeah you, you don't see if a snake is happy right i mean how could you because it doesn't wag its tail. I mean, unless it's a, <laughs> unless it's a, it's a, um, a rattlesnake. But that's not the rattling you want to get <laughs> when you when you meet a rattlesnake. So that's not the kind of a wag of a tail like dog has. It's a kind of a uh, don't come any further, man. <laughs> kind of rattling, kind of uh, a tail wagging, so to speak. But. Um, we don't have the capacity to understand them and and they have simply different means to express their emotions and express their content their discontent and so on and so forth so of course for instance um parrots got really close to that because they they have the ability to produce sounds that are similar to our to our speech to our words and to our language and they can make all sorts of various emotional sort of um, sort of sounds that we understand but if it wouldn't be able to do that then probably the only way we can understand is when some they, they when they like something when you're like scratching them or or petting them and they're like closing up their eyes and not in a stressful way and that's you can when you can say ah okay so it, it, it's enjoying it it's enjoying my touch and it's feeling relaxed and so on and so forth or for instance when it huddles to your like i'm talking about parrots now when it huddles to your to your um, arm or you know plays with your hair and so on so there are things that we can of course understand by the way that's a great chief chef right there uh, this right now chif chif chaf chif chaf chif chaf so philoscopus colibita yep uh, and um, so 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 there are things that we can understand but there are so many things that we, we, we just can't because they don't they do not have for instance the whites for instance dogs have incredibly expressive uh, body uh, that is sort of in line with how we tend to 
see and perceive the world and translate things into our own emotions and feelings and and thoughts and and and, and we are we're simply able to be able, sorry we're simply able to process it because they're so well they're not so close to us i mean they're not apes but they're mammals and they are very social creatures just like us and they learn all these adaptations you know wagging the tail drooping the uh the ears uh you know looking a certain way uh close like uh positioning the eyes in a certain way licking your face and so on and so forth the the, the whole body movement they learned all that as an adaptation for the social life that they're have been living and are living in the wild because they're pack creatures they live in a hierarchy in a hierarchical society where um, you have a ladder you have a alpha you have a beta and so on and so forth there's a society that is in the pack essentially it's like a small society and they adapted to that and just like us just like us um, and therefore that's why we can understand each other so much and also they're mammals just like us so there are things like that that makes us uh, so highly connected to uh, to dogs and there is a reason why they has been uh, with us on our evolutionary journey for so long it's this because of exactly this reason because we can understand them and they can kind of understand us although you know uh, I guess they have to be confused sometimes when we're talking to them but um, there's a song thrush just above us and and now it stopped but there was yeah that hear it repeating so Turdus Philomelos song thrush this one exactly yeah, it was two repetitions two repetitions and so on and so forth so yeah song thrush so so we can understand each other and we can translate their emotional expressions into our own language um, by the way I'm gonna stop here for a moment because so now if you turn up the volume a little bit of the video can you hear that sound there's a high-pitched barely audible this that one right there heard it so it's like a it's very very very, very high pitch high frequency that so i'm not sure if you could pick it up that that so I'm not sure if the camera picked it up uh, and if you can hear it if you crank up the sound but it's very nicely audible right now very nicely for for uh, for Goldcrest yeah so so it's very nicely audible because the Goldcrest is right there I can actually see it which is pretty unique uh, especially since I don't have my glasses ha 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 I actually don't really um, but it's a uh, it's a tiny bird but um, I can see it flying up in there in those dead tree canopies yeah and it's pretty nicely audible I think there are even two right now um, so that was a gold crest and I hope if you put on uh, if you put on uh, headphones I'm not sure what like where you're listening on and if you can hear it you might not hear it on a phone I'm not sure you know I'll you know check and see but uh, I don't know what the camera picked up but if you listen to it in your uh, in your headphones and you crank up the sound a little bit you, you I'm pretty sure you're gonna hear it and it's this very high pitch high frequency sound uh, it almost sounds like uh, you know what it reminds me of there is this device that you put in a car uh, to repel uh, to repel martens and rats and other animals so they don't chew on your wires and it, it makes this it produces this is uh, produces the sound uh, freak like in a, in a certain frequency and um, 
and it repeats it over and over again to repel those those critters and those animals and it produces kind of similar sound it's even more high pitch and more high frequency but this is somewhat similar to it uh, so that was a gold crest uh, regulus regulus and it's the tiniest bird uh, in uh, Europe and it is extremely tiny it really weighs uh, around uh, around four to six grams and it's very very tiny and it's got a beautiful the reason for the gold crest is that it has when it is uh, trying to repel um, uh, repel a, a competition for instance or trying to impress a female or it is just excited it there, there is a, there are feathers on its head that it can sort of fan out and they're kind of tucked in to the other head feathers but when it gets excited and it fans out those feathers it opens and it creates sort of a, a, a sort of um, uh, a crown a really a, like a like a regal <laughs> like a king's crown and it's brightly gold gold orange it's like a little sort of a little uh, little flame almost that opens up on its head and it's beautifully bright vivid yellowish orangish colors and it's a, it's a sight to behold really it's beautiful and extremely cute <laughs> so that's why it's named gold crest and this uh, and the um and the um uh related uh related species the the fire crest the difference is there that the fire crest has it more fiery you know there's more orange to it um and uh it's it's not yeah the gold crest is more yellowish and sort of goldish and uh fire crest is more orangish that's why i mean it you know pretty much the names are self-explanatory right i mean gold crest fire crest so and fire crest the, the main difference there uh, when you don't see, uh, see the these the color of its of its crown the the main difference there is that it has a black uh, color around its eye and sort of a black stripe that goes across its eye um, and that makes it look kind of like I always said it looks like kind of like a, 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 a badass version of gold crest because gold crest is like super cute and it's like very sort of sort of a I don't know um, like a such a soft good-hearted uh, such a nice bird like totally innocent looking completely it's just such a cute such a cute bird and firecrest is too but it has this very stern very badass look thanks to that black around its eye and the, the black stripe it looks like he looks like a, a biker it feels like you know it's like a really tough guy the the new sheriff in town they just came in to kick some gold crest ass you know that's how kind of how he looks like <laughs> and um so that's how you're going to recognize them because they're like if you look at pictures firecrest gold crest you're totally going to see what i'm talking about they really look like a badass version of gold crest um so that's the tiniest birds in europe and they have these very high pitched um high frequency calls that and, and songs that are unlike anything you'll hear there's just nothing as high pitch and has sort of sort of mm, low volume high pitched and high frequency like this there's just like when you walk in the forest and you hear these kind of calls and songs that is 100 percent either gold crest and fire crest and there's a difference between the two actually they have a very distinctive song gold crest has as, as, as we've heard it has this it's kind of like starts somewhere and goes in a very straight line imagine it visually really that's why how i do it to re remember the song sometimes i i don't try and remember how it sounds but more like try and remember how it kind of looks visually you know so this one starts somewhere and goes in a straight line and it rises up whereas gold crest uh, uh sorry for, ah don't damn i don't want to confuse it so so gold crest starts somewhere hold on a freaking second 
Hold on a freaking second. I just realized I swept those two. God damn. So we've actually heard a fire crest, not a gold crest. God damn. I just realized, of course, no, 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 no. The, the thing was that the simple song, the one that starts and rises up, is a song of a fire crest. But the more, that's the thing. Oh, yeah. That's the interesting thing. So, so the, the fire crest that looks kind of more sort of visually interesting has a simpler song. Whereas gold crest, who is looking sort of less interesting and less badass and all that, has a more intricate song. So that's the, yeah, oh my God, I totally swept those two. So sorry for the confusion. What we've heard there was not a gold crest, but a fire crest, in fact. And the reason between those two is exactly a fire crest song starts somewhere, goes in a straight line. So it's like, whereas a gold crest song is kind of like, I kind of see it as a, as like a wheel that is turning. So it goes like, it's a kind of like this um, it's never a straight line it doesn't sound like but it's like and that's how it sounds so so there is like some wave going on I kind of see it as a wheel of course I mean sound doesn't work that way but that's just it helps me to remember that Goldcrest has this kind of song that kind of sounds like a like a wheel of sorts like like, like if you were to be turning a crank like a so that's kind of how it sounds and Firecrest has a simple minimalistic straight line going up so that is that and now I just realized I I I yeah I swept those two completely now that I started to explain see and that's that's how important these mnemonic devices are however you're gonna uh, try and help yourself remember these things how important these uh, little uh, little uh, devices so so to speak mnemonic devices are important because they really help you remember I haven't thought about this for years you know and or hey like maybe for two years you know so I could totally have forgot it but this this let it stuck in my head so well that when I was talking about it I recalled it you know like I was like yeah no actually the straight song is Firecrest and yeah and the more complicated song is Goldcrest so so it's super helpful to to sort of um, establish these um, helpful let's call it mnemonic device I don't really know how else to call it mnemonic devices uh, set up set them up remember them and that's how you're gonna how it's gonna stick with you for hell the rest of your life really so so it's really cool to to know these and this is one of them actually yeah so we've heard actually a fire crest damn and I thought it's a gold crest I don't know why I, I get, probably thought maybe it's uh, because gold crest is definitely more common um, and especially in in times of like uh, well especially in winter and uh, in times of like the the springs barely here so I expect it to be a gold crest and automatically didn't even think about it I was like oh yeah that's a gold crest but yeah it was a fire crest 100 percent so uh um wow interesting so a uh, fire crest uh, I probably I mean unless it was spending winter here which I rather doubt but it could have of course then it probably arrived quite recently but um yeah that's a fire crest and the gold crest and the differences between the two now i kind of wonder the first gold crest that i've heard if it was actually a gold crest if it was a fire crest now now i'm kind of curious i'm probably going to check that video just to be just to be sure what we actually heard there but maybe it was a fire crest i don't know. i'll check it and i'll write it in the subtitles here so yeah, so that was that, um, and uh, and um, yeah, that was today's walk. And damn, I didn't finish the thing with with the dogs. But what I was want to say is that we understand dogs. You know, they're easy to understand because they have all these expressions that we like. I was gonna say grew up with, but really, like as a as a species, we grew up together essentially, evolutionary, and we even learned to understand them very well and they kind of learned from us to make certain 
things that we do understand like barking for instance you know and growl and, and all that growling up but barking apparently was created after we started living with the wolves and with with dogs that's how barking evolved because as far as i know wolves do not bark so that is something that they created and developed uh as a as a sort of an adaptation uh, while living with us but we can understand them but the but the fact that we cannot understand birds because they're completely different species and because they just don't just they have different ways of expressing themselves doesn't mean that they don't have these emotions you know they totally do but we just can't see them we just cannot understand them so while when you look at a chicken it might seem like cold and emotionless to you but that's not the case we just cannot understand and we cannot sort of see the small little nuances and we cannot understand them and we cannot understand their happiness and playfulness and all that you know so that's why i wanted just to say um because a lot of people have this kind of view on birds that they're kind of like cold-hearted asshole sort of you know but I, I really don't think that's the case i think we just lack the uh ability and capacity to understand their emotions and understand their expressions because we just haven't adapted that way and they're completely different species from us unlike dogs um who are mammals too and we really really evol evolutionary grew up together so that's just something i want to say you know just give birds a bit more credit because they really are extremely intelligent they're playful they have emotions they have uh really they have so much more than we thought initially and um there's just so much more to them so that's what i wanted to say and that's what i wanted to talk about and and yeah just you know to give birds more credit because they're fascinating creatures and uh they what they you know they might seem to like all those things that for instance dogs have but they do have it we just cannot understand it and we just cannot comprehend it and sort of we don't have the means to understand it and translate it into our own language so that's just uh, that's uh, something I wanted to say and something I'll end up on so I'm signing off and I do not think there will be videos tomorrow by the way I think I'm gonna stick to this no videos over weekend rule yeah to give myself some time and and there's also always a lot of a lot of stuff to do over weekend and it takes a lot of time you know to to just like uh, uh take to uh, put together the video and then it's uploading for like a half a day and all that so you know uh i think i'm just gonna keep weekends uh video free so that's just a little announcement so no videos over weekend anymore maybe rarely there will be if i really have nothing to do at all <laughs> then uh, I might do some videos but other than that there will be no videos over weekend so see you on Monday